cover how to answer eight mark questions that you guys are requested about this video that most of the students are quite confusing about how to act like write the eight mark question so i choose two of the eight mark questions and based of my perspective and also the mark scheme uh, i just find out how to answer the this type of questions and i will discuss about this in this video so the first question which i find out uh, that one is discuss the factor that influence the choices of landline broadband or mobile broadband connectivity for rural communities okay for this type of question just you know think from your perspective like uh, what can be the advantage or what can be the factor that can affect the landline and the broadband connectivity for the people who are living in the village area for landline uh, the thing is that it is a it have a wire connection and everything right so the setting up the infrastructure is quite costly but the people from the village side they don't want to spend that much amount of money right and beside that uh, if they they are using the mobile mobile broadband then the speed won't be that much higher when they are using the online game but whereas the cost and availability of data plans also matter right because uh, some of the mobile data mobile data if you want to buy it is quite costly for them because they have to buy weekly whereas the uh, broadband line i think is quite cheaper so this is one of the factor so you guys have to find out what can be the factor that can affect both way the broadband and the landline okay then here they are uh, they are asking that uh, discuss the factor that influence the choices of landline so influence their choice right so when it is come to influences their choice you have to came up with the careful consider so based on the factor and balancing all the factor to determine what the community will choose so these things you have to add inside your conclusion so the thing is that for eight marks question you have to write the conclusion it is a must requirement from the marks scheme okay so the answer for this question is choosing between landline broadband and mobile broadband for rural areas depend on few things right this is a one of the introduction then that i write so it will when you add an introduction like this it will make your write uh, uh, sorry written paper is quite quite impressive so choosing between landline broadband and mobile broadband for rural areas depend on a few things what is the things first there the there is the cost of setting up the infrastructure they have there there is a cost needed to set the infrastructure right second the landline broadband usually needs more money up front that means landline broadband need more money then there is the speed and the amount of data they that they can get Bro mobile broadband might not be fast enough or have enough data for heavy users right because for the mobile broadband if they're using heavy internet like game or something within one or 30 minutes they can lose all the data also mobile broadband can sometimes be slower which is bad for things like online gaming the cost and availability for data plans matter too right because the cost is quite higher because if you want to buy 30 30 days uh, data it is quite higher mobile plan of uh, often offer more flexible options newer network technologies like 3g 4g and 5g also make a difference in how well you can connect and how fast it is the decision should consider how the internet is used such as whether there is a heavy video streaming or just basic browsing right additionally consider how long to be tied to a contract as mobile provider usually offer shorter contracts so in conclusion it's crucial to carefully consider and balance all this factor to determine the optimal broadband option for the community so what i did first of all i identify what can be the advantage and what can be the disadvantage the rural communities can get when they're using the broadband and the landline okay and 
I suggest everything whatever I think that I need to suggest or show it to the rural area or rural people after that they will decide what can be their choice if they are using heavy streaming internet then obviously they need to go for the broadband if they are using you know simple Facebook scrolling and everything then they can go for 3G 4G or 5G right the mobile data plan Beside that is all I also uh, provide them the detailed things about short term or long term contract they want to attend or join right so this is the factor that is, is actually a general thing that you guys have to think and then write everything okay and obviously conclusion is a must now move to the second question which is Evaluate the choices society must make between the expanding of use expanding use of ICT and the need to protect the environment. So here the question they are asking is the choices must make between the expanded uses of ICT and the need to protect the environment. Like what the society will choose they will expand the ICT type of things or they will protect the environment right so what you what you prefer from your perspective you have to f first of all you have to think whom you will support you will go for the ICT or the environment okay based on that you have to plan your answer and then in conclusion you can conclude whatever you are you are mostly supported right so the thing is that here in my perspective I'm thinking because of the you know advanced cultures and advanced modern uh, ages and everything right in 2024 it is quite harder for us to live without technology so the demand for ICT is increasing but beside that is also affecting our environment in different type of way why because one of the thing is that we are throwing the uh, type of materials that is you know it it stuff like computer or laptop when we when um, the, we are damaging part type of the things like one of the example is a battery we just throw it to the dustbin but we need to throw it to the garbage where it is specifically for the electronic devices but we don't do it we throw it wherever we are throwing our other disposal material as well right other waste material as well sorry but the thing is that battery is not that much disposable like the other waste so we have to think that this is the electronic so we have to throw this type of devices as a, as an electronic waste but in our country or most of the people are not that much educated about that they don't know that some of the electronic device is more disposal some of the devices are not that much disposal so we need more education about these types of thing right how we can reuse about these devices so to make ICT better for the environment we can do a few things we can use different power sources recycle material and sell use devices that means we can recycle the devices, reuses the devices. We can educate people how to throw the digital devices. Also, ICT can help the environment, right? For instance, we can use it to track animals and protect them. We can also use ICT to track the environmental issues as well, such as we can, we can identify the climate change by using our weather apps. So in conclusion, actually, I can say while ICT can hurt the environment, we can do things to make it less harmful. Plus, it can also help us take care of the environment better. better. So one of the things is that we can recycle the material. We can educate our people to recycle it, right? So when the people are more educated, they will recycle the material. They will be more understandable that every device everything are not throwing at a one places they have a different different places we have to throw different different thing if we teach our organization to came out organization means the people who are you know making the devices ICT devices like mobile or laptop or PC they can use disposal type of material so it will be more biodegradable right 
so in this way you guys can think how you will write the answer for this question so in my point of view i write it like this way the new needs for ict show that people want more technology in different areas ICT affect the environment in many way we all know for example making and using things of ICT can harm the environment right this include making electronic stuff and dealing with the waste like throwing batteries in the trash to make ICT better for the environment we can do a few things we can use different power source recycle material and cell use devices so it will reduce us to create number of new devices right because if we reuse the materials also ICT help the environment for instance we can use it to track animal and protect them we can also spread awareness about environmental issues using technology right by using Facebook Instagram we can share what type of awareness we can do with the technology how technology can help us to protect our environment if we use it carefully instead of thinking that it will harm our environment and we keep an eye on climate change using ICT right because ICT is one of the factor that can also help us in so many different climate changes so many things so in conclusion while ICT can hurt the environment we can do things to make it less harmful Plus, it can also help us to take care of the embed environment better, right? So, this is the two examples of writing, how to write a 8 mark questions. So, I hope you guys can understand how to write the 8 mark question and obviously include conclusions. And if you guys want, you can add the introduction like this in a short way. If you don't add the introduction, just starting from here, this is still okay if it goes with the questions okay so some of most of the eight mark question is don't afraid how what will be the answer this is the eight mark nothing this is just a general question don't think about his ICT or anything just think what will you do when you are in these places that's it and try to answer like that way so this is the end of this video best of luck for your exam and please like and subscribe thank you